This is going to be another help video for Windows Media Player. And I'm um, going to show you how to fix a very common problem that a lot of Windows Media Player users come upon. So what problem am I talking about? A lot of times when people install a new Windows Media Player, they open it up and they go to their media library and they find that they can't manage their files. They can't add any new files, they can't delete files, and in some extreme cases sometimes people can't play their files at all. Now like I already said, this is a very very common problem and it's really easy to fix. You don't have to restart your Windows Media Player, you don't have to reinstall it, you don't have to download any patch files from the internet, you don't have to um, delete or create any new directories, all you have to do is find the media library directory and you have to rename it and that will fix your problem. So the thing is that there's actually nothing wrong with your Windows Media Player. The problem is that you have a damaged library or it's also sometimes called a corrupted library. So what you have to do is find the Windows Media Library directory and you have to rename it but it's not that simple to find because the path is kinda complicated but basically what you can do is you can open up your search program select for search for all files and folders and what you can do here is you can set up some additional settings so that it will search for the files and folders that are hidden and that will actually give you much bigger and more accurate results. So just type in Microsoft and search for it. Okay, I think that's enough. Now, after this search is over, probably get uh, a lot of Microsoft folders, but you're looking for the right one and the right one should have a media player folder and in it you should have this transcoded files folder these local MLS files and these current database files so once you found the right Microsoft folder you open it and and once you're in it just select the media player folder and rename it as you can see I renamed it to media player one and confirm once you've done that you you can open up your Windows media player and the library should be fixed now it will tell you that the library is empty so it will do a um, it will do a quick search of your hard drive for media files and it will automatically add them add them to the Windows Media Library. So if you did everything right, you should now have a well-functioning media library and you can manage all your files any way you like.